Hey, buddy. Yes, it's me. I was always on the other side. You do know that, right? <laughs> I think you're manifesting a miracle. But you're doing it all wrong. Some are right, some are wrong. Because that star, not the best star to manifest what you're doing. I do have something that can help you. It's already here. Because since I'm always around you and I figured you're going to need this. Okay. Here. Okay. Here, buddy. There. Take it. Okay. So I'm going to enumerate one by one. You have there larvae kite, amethyst, citrine, ruby, and rainbow moonstone. All this would be helpful for you to manifest a miracle. One thing for sure is something's burning, and that's that one. And then the next thing that you're going to get is something that is not so good with that star. I'm going to go before something comes up. Okay, bye. Hi Gemini, welcome to Cosmetology. Um, this is your uh, first um, discussion uh, from the Ascendance or the Moon, um, Gemini. Um, if you if you're here, please watch the first part in at E Three Love Inc. As we have discussed the February nineteen um, full Moon happening in the um, Nakshatra of Ashlesha. Now for the Gemini Rising or the Gemini Moon, it's gonna be happening in your second house we have rahu and moon over here in your second house now what is reflective of our second house gemini this is how people see you the second house so they never see you as gemini they would always see you as a well you know aristotle gemini can cancerian okay so, so i already know that okay i don't know why they have to do that so as a cancerian people see you as friendly right people see you as someone as a home buddy people see you as someone who's like very very approachable and for an air sign they also see you as someone who's very emotional but are you you're not you're an air sign correct but since this is second house is how people perceive you and this is also um the surrounding people things that you can touch that's your second house second house is also your savings from your savings okay and this is happening in uh, mercury nakshatra okay um ruled which is ashlesha what is happening there so here's what's gonna what's gonna happen for you gemini gemini this part of the second house is very important a lot of people you will try to connect you will try to explain yourself that it's like listen this is who i am and what i am and then they're like no you never did that no i always do this so there's a lot of things that the people are realizing that you are not because you're trying to show them who you are you're kind of like changing yes in this in this side but the thing is you're not you're always been like that but people are seeing a different side of you so this is a lot of re uh, realization next is happening on your savings so how is it going to happen in your savings um there are chances that you will see a lot of things you know not a lot hopefully but for example your debit card your credit card there are charges or there are things it's just like i know i have savings and then all of a sudden there's none I know I was putting money away and all of a sudden there's none. But the full moon is here oh, and Rahu is here to show you the reality of it. You probably thought always you have, but you, you, you don't. Or you really do, but you, I mean like you really don't, but you have. So it goes vice versa. There's the duality of, of, of um, what's happening in your second house. Always think of it, it's either or, okay? Because that's how the, the energy of, you know, um, transit would work. Either good or bad, it's still going to happen, okay? So that is the um, the part of a change. A lot of people also will try to um, to tell you to basically don't change or this and that because they're gonna try to grab you from like for example don't uh, like don't do this don't do that. A lot of people probably will because they're gonna like, go against you. I feel some people will just say it's like um, you know they're gonna hinder you from from growth. I feel 
I'm not sure why, but the thing is, because Rahu and Ketu is soon gonna move in your zodiac, and that's something big. So it, if it's happening in your second house, and you know the ecliptic will move back to you, there is a lot of things that you have to address before it goes to you, before the illusion comes to you. People are realizing really, it's like, oh, this is who you really, really are. I know you got confused, but only a few will understand what I'm talking about. Okay, so thank you very much, Gemini. I'll see you guys again. Have a wonderful, wonderful day.